Hey, my name's Lilika. So a few weeks ago, I wrote down an idea for a YouTube video I wanted to make, which is basically just exploring whether music is actually useful for when you're trying to learn or not. As I spent time researching this topic, I was surprised to find how controversial the results on Google were. Like even on the front page of Google, you'd find one article saying it's great, you should totally do it. And then the article right underneath that one would be like, absolutely done, it's detrimental to your learning. <laughs> that definitely piqued my interest a bit because why on earth would a subject that in my opinion isn't even that important spark that much of a debate online? What annoyed me was that a lot of what people were saying wasn't really based on fact. It was mostly just subjective opinion based on, I guess, anecdotal information. So in this video, I'm going to be exploring the objective scientific information that I found online. And then I guess an objective conclusion and why that conclusion might feel intuitively incorrect to most people. <laughs> so let's get into it. Studying is a often repetitive and laborious task. This can have a negative effect on your mood. And I think that most people listen to music to kind of try to make studying feel more enjoyable as they are doing it. But my question is, does your mood actually affect your ability to learn? And that's what I researched. So here are the results I found. The first thing I want to cover is that music definitely has an effect on your emotional state. The best example I could find to kind of prove that music has an effect on your emotion beyond just what you might intuitively feel to be true is something called music therapy. So I'm just going to speed run <laughs> the history of music theory real quick. Music therapy was first recorded in the early 1700s. After World War I and II, music was used to soothe the veterans that were being housed in hospitals that were suffering from emotional and physical trauma. And the music that the musicians were playing to them had such a positive effect that the nurses actually asked the heads of these hospitals to employ the musicians full time to just play music to the to the soldiers. In the 1940s, music therapy started to be developed into an actual clinical practice. And in, in that same year, the first music therapy training program was founded. So point being, music has an effect <laughs> on your emotional state and can have a positive effect on your temperament as a whole. Studies have shown that music can affect your mood even when it isn't on a clinical level in a positive or a negative manner, mostly positive according to the study that will be linked in this description. By the way, all the studies that I'm citing will be linked in the description. And if you're really interested, you can click on the link in the description to check out the blog. There's that if you're interested. Though music can affect your emotional state, it's kind of iffy and studies aren't entirely conclusive on whether your emotion has an effect on your learning ability. So that kind of makes it a bit vague and it's hard to draw conclusions on studies uh, because they're a bit inconclusive and you can't really relate that to our main question, which is whether you should be listening to music when you're studying or not. However, the one emotion that was very conclusive in the studies that were done on whether this affects your learning is, um, Anxiety. <laughs> anxiety has a conclusive and definite effect on your studying ability, especially on your concentration, whether that is hyper arousal or an inability to concentrate at all when experiencing anxiety. And it's definitely a fact, a study has shown that anxiety can be lifted via listening to music. In fact, the study said that music can alleviate anxiety by up to 65%, which is kind of a vague number because like what are they basing that number off of but from personal experience which is I get that is subjective but I tend to agree that music in general helps calm me when I'm feeling anxious and still objectively speaking studies have shown that this is a fact so there's that and um, essentially what this means is that anxiety can negatively affect your cognitive function that is bad however if you listen to music that can affect your levels of anxiety in a positive manner which has a net positive effect on your ability to learn. So whether emotion in general has an effect on your ability to learn or not 
it's kind of up in the air. However, anxiety is a definite, it definitely has an effect on your ability to learn. So we're going to focus on anxiety more than just emotion in general, since the studies on emotion in general are fairly inconclusive. Okay, so music can definitely have an effect on your emotion, more specifically anxiety, which can have a net positive effect on your ability to learn. However, when it comes to music directly enhancing your cognitive function, studies point in the direct opposite direction. <laughs> Music listening can never be a fully passive task. There will always be something inherently distracting to having multiple stimuli happening whilst you're trying to focus on a specific task. Studies have shown that listening to music with lyrics in, for example, has a net negative effect on your ability to absorb information whilst doing tasks such as reading, for example. Studies have shown <laughs> that that is probably because there is semantic information in the lyrics of the music that your brain is trying to process whilst also trying to process the semantic information in the actual thing that you're reading. You might be wondering, okay, but what about my instrumental music? There isn't any lyrics in there. What's up with that? Well, listening to instrumentals will definitely be a lot better than listening to music with lyrics in them. That is because studies have shown that your ability to engage in critical thinking tasks is reduced when in a changing state background environment. So basically, if there's a lot of information that is changing in the background, so if the soundtrack is super melodically interesting and it draws your attention constantly, that's it's gonna make it harder to concentrate. That's kind of straightforward. So in other words, very monotonal soundtracks that doesn't have a lot of melodic information or changing melodic information will be better. However, studies have shown that being in a quieter, steady state environment has participants perform a lot better when engaging in cognitively taxing and critical thinking tasks. Therefore, unfortunately, no music is still better than even the least distracting of music. This is so sad. So, what's the verdict? Objectively speaking, you shouldn't listen to music while you're studying. It's only distracting, your brain can't multitask, and even if you're able to focus on the task at hand, it'll still be switching between you studying and trying to understand the music in the background, and just having to divide your mental capacities will have a net negative effect on your ability to absorb information, study, and learn in general. So, practically speaking, again, objectively speaking, your mood does affect your ability to learn in general. So I'd suggest listening to music before you study to kind of get you in that nice, happy, positive headspace and then switching off the music and being in as quiet a environment as possible to really give your cognitive functions the ability to perform at their full capacity. Because that's what studies have shown, your brain functions better in quieter, solid state background environments. Now, if you're anything like me, that just kind of feels wrong. I always walk away from a studying session where I listen to music feeling pretty positive and I'm like, heck yeah, that was great. That was a positive experience. And that's definitely the knee jerk reaction I had to my findings after doing my research. I was like, no, music is great. I want to listen to music. Why do I think it's so great when science is clearly showing that it's bad, objectively speaking, bad. So. After a bit of thinking, my personal opinion is that students who find music to have a positive effect on their efficiency whilst they're studying are probably experiencing the anxiety reducing effects that music is proven to have on your general state of being. They are then relating their calmer state of mind to efficiency in their learning, which is, I mean, kind of true but not entirely, right? Not listening to music will always be better than listening to music while you're studying, but anxiety really does negatively affect your ability to learn. So having less anxiety is technically better, but music is also not better. So it's kind of a bit of a toss up, you know? Anxiety is more prevalent in modern society. I know that's overstated and kind of I'm 14 and this is deep, but that's kind of just the fact. So I think that that really doesn't spell out anything good for the modern generation of students. Like, more anxiety equals less learning, and um, that's not great. <laughs> Technically then, music would be good. It reduces your anxiety, which enhances your ability to learn and remember information and concentrate in general. So for any person who maybe experiences more anxiety than an average student, 
listening to music while studying will prove to feel like a positive experience. However, for the average person, it'll come down to trading the efficiency that a quiet environment encourages for the enjoyment of listening to music whilst you're studying. And trading that would be objectively wrong, but like, I'm not gonna stop listening to music whilst I'm studying, right? So if that's a sacrifice that you're willing to make, you can join me in being objectively wrong. <laughs> and now, if you do continue to choose to listen to music whilst you're studying, at least that'll be a conscious, informed decision that you're making. Um, and I guess in the end, it's still up to you. Music is great, I love listening to it. It has a positive effect on anxiety, a negative effect on your cognitive function, and depending on your anxiety levels in general as a person, the decision's up to you. Cool, that's all I had to say in this video. I hope you found this informative. If you did, definitely leave a like. That shows me that you like what I'm making and that helps me out a lot. Also, definitely check out the blog if you found the information in this video interesting. I went into a bit more depth on the blog. It's linked in the description. It'll be the first link in the description. Otherwise, a video I would suggest you watching if you're into learning and being efficient in learning in general. It's a video called Active Recall. Active Recall is really the best studying method you could be using right now. So I suggest watching that video for sure. It's a lot like this one. And if you enjoyed this one, you'd probably enjoy the Active Recall video. So I don't know. I guess check that out if you feel inclined to but thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Good luck on your studying journey